Yo, real quick, before the video starts, I want to say thank you for clicking on it in the first place. If you like what you see, please do click that like button. That and also, if you are new around here or find yourself coming back on the regular and you aren't subscribed, why not? I mean, you're already coming back anyway. Thank you once again for clicking on the video and enjoy. Yo, what's going on guys? Balasang Sam here. Welcome back to another video. Today's video was on that move right there. A little underhand thumb rollover. Uh, a lot of people have been seeing me doing it in my combos and they've asked me if I could make a tutorial on it. So that is exactly what we're going to do today. Here is how it looks one more time and then we're also going to show a slow-mo. So, there you go. And here's the slow-mo. The trick itself is not too difficult. It is pretty much just like an OG, uh, I guess, rollover. And it, it sets you up for uh, for OG chaplain. It's just a really nice combination of those two. So basically, oftentimes when I do this, I go into that and then into an OG chaplain. So that would look like this, like that. It's like a little bridge that you do just to come in from here to, you know, there. It's a, it's a nice little transfer trick, I guess you could say. Uh, so yeah, how do we start this? Obviously, we're gonna, you know, we need to be on the buy handle for that. It's the safest way. Obviously, if you do that, you can do it on the safe handle too. Um, but then obviously, you can't uh, continue into a chaplain because that will end pretty bad with a ring of shame on your fingers, which we don't want. So for this um, tutorial, we're gonna start on the buy handle just because we want to kind of continue this move into a chaplain, right? Um, whether you do it actually in your combos with a chaplain or not. Uh, that's up to you, but for this tutorial, we're gonna go like that, right? So here is how we start. We first, to set ourselves up, we need momentum. We need a little bit of momentum to get into that little movement. So I always like to start with just opening up the safe handle and then going into a regular rollover and then into that whip rollover kind of movement to end up in this position. Whatever trick you do, as long as you end up on the by handle with this little wrist pass motion where you can where the blade is falling down and you can twist your wrist up like that, where the blade goes into a horizontal spin and your wrist turns from open, like your palm up to palm down. That's all you need. And then from here, while the handle is coming around, once you start to feel it touch your thumb, you're gonna let go of all these four fingers on the, on the by handle. And we're just gonna let it spin around the by handle. And this is why you need the momentum, because if you don't have momentum, you can't expect it to go well. It will just not spin over your thumb. You need to have some sort of speed. So that's why we do this in front. There you go. It's just, it makes it easier. Now, as you see, if I do it fast, um, I'm doing something extra as well. Uh, and that is basically, I raise my uh, arm. All right, anyway, so open it up, roll over, whip roll over type thing, wrist motion, wrist pass, whatever. And then we're gonna use momentum and raise our arm or raise our wrist, raise everything just to create that little more room to work with. You know, if you do it low to the floor, it's, yeah, it's not easy, it's not easy. So we're just gonna raise everything, give ourselves a little bit more time. And then once it's coming around, we're just gonna grab it with all fingers. See, from this point, you can either grab it with all these fingers, you know, the ones you just put away to get into the rollover. And then, you know, once you catch it, you can go into some more tricks you can do whatever you want or you could do one finger and then go into that og chaplain which looks like this uh, and otherwise it would just look like this it's up to you um so yeah that's pretty much it it's not really that difficult it looks a bit difficult but all you need to do is just bring that up create momentum and uh just grab it onto this. What I like to do when you're learning this is maybe you can hold your thumb at the back and then your uh, chapel, uh, your, your middle finger or ring finger or index finger, whatever you wanna do with the chaplain. I always prefer middle finger because it's the easiest one. So you just basically hold it there because uh, you're already in contact with the rollover anyway. You're already contacting or in contact rather with the blade or no, with the handle, what am I saying? With the handle, so it's already kind of there in position. And then from here, you know, you just do that OG chaplain. For people who don't know how you do that, it's just basically a regular chaplain, just how you start learning that with big circles. You know, you start with big and then you narrow it down. Same goes for OGs. You start with big circles and then 
you kind of slow, uh, you kind of like trim it down as to the point where you're like barely, barely moving your, your whole hand and stuff. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please do leave a like on and subscribe if you are brand new. And uh, yeah, without further ado, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.